turn towards me slowly. Standing by to converge on his new position. Roger. All units be advised. Contractor GR544's ability is gravity nullification. Take appropriate precautions. Use of deadly force authorized. Shoot on sight. That's the price of your contract, huh? You've got it pretty rough. Proposal. I expect no less from a contractor. Where is she? Yet, where are the police? They're passing point A. Now, you have less than three minutes. Time to spare. Let's go. No, wait. You need me. She won't tell you where it is unless I'm with you. Stop. He's right, Ed. He can still be useful. You're all the same. You make me sick. Hey! Chief, our star just fell. I know. I saw it. It's been ten years since it happened. The incident. Hard to remember now that the city wasn't always like this that it wasn't always here. What it is, where it came from, why it came, no one knows. The greatest minds from around the world were brought in to study it. Their solution? Build a wall. They called it Hell's Gate. They say the first sightings of individuals with superhuman powers, called contractors, and passive mediums, called dolls, came only days after the gate appeared. This was our guy, codename Louis, real name unknown, suspected ties to the French Directorate General for External Security, known contractor. Messier code GR544, ability, gravity, nullification. Not surprisingly, the French authorities are currently denying any involvement. Cause of death? We don't know. The medical examiner found nothing, just a couple of broken fingers. There's the possibility of another contractor. I have the latest data from Astronomics. It seems they've identified the most likely candidate for activity at that time as star number BK201. That number has yet to be assigned. You're sure? Yes. If it does belong to a contractor, we don't know the first thing about him. What he looks like, the abilities he has, 
We're completely in the dark on this one. Maybe it's him. The one we keep hearing all the rumors about. The Reaper. Our concern is facts, not rumors. It won't do us any good to have you spreading them here. Right. Sorry. Now, what about the item? Someone from the National Laboratories was able to gain access to the Pandora core and met off with a cache of classified information. As for the content, well, they say that's need to know, and apparently we don't. And the woman? Chiaki Shinoda, 26, recent doctor graduate, earned her degree with a thesis on various physical phenomena within the gate. Took a research position at the National Laboratories. She's been AWOL for the past two weeks. Current whereabouts unknown. According to this, she's had at least one encounter with contractors in the past. I assume M.E. was used to erase the memories? You mean the incident with her parents? No. At the time, it was determined she hadn't had any direct contact. Any potential leak of information regarding the gate is a serious threat to national security. Whatever this woman's level of involvement, she must not fall into enemy hands. No matter what. Understood? Sir. The government tries to keep the existence of contractors a secret from the general public. As a matter of protocol, any civilian who comes into direct contact has their memories erased. Still, there's no stopping the rumors. Monsters, killer robots, people can sense something's out there. Something they don't understand. Maybe that's what scares them the most. My name is Misaki Kirihara, Public Security Division Foreign Affairs Section 4. This case would be the first encounter between my team and the contractor known as BK-201. Delivery? No, I'm... One of them god freaks. We don't need saving. No, I'm not. You must be that nosy tombstone salesman. I told you when I need one, I'll call you. No, that's not it. I'm actually here about the... Oh, yeah. You're here for the TV. Why didn't you say so? About time you showed up. Come on in! It's been nothing but fuss for a couple of days now. Right. Listen... Don't stand in the door, you old butt. You'll block the reception. At the store you guys sent, once we switched to this digital whatever it is, there'd be no more static, right? Sorry, it wasn't me. How's that gonna fix it? You even know what you're doing? No, I guess I don't. <laughs> there, how's that? But how? So, here we are. Uh, sorry, what was that name again? Lee Shengshen. Ah, oh, right, right. I remember you're the kid the realtor called about. New to the city, huh? That's right. I'm here for school. Well, I know you kids like to have a good time when you're not studying. I don't mind a little party. Just don't go starting any trouble, got me? Right. Miss Haraguchi, I'd like to introduce you to your new neighbor, Mr. Uh... Help me out, kid. It's Lee Shengshen. Mr. Lee, whatever. Hey, you're not going to turn out to be some kind of stalker, are you? No, ma'am. He's in. Target acquired. A black reaper's on his mark. Let's see how good he really is.
So, Ayami, tell us about yourself. What are you, like 18, 19? <laughs> oh, come on. I'm almost 22. Seriously, my birthday's next week. You're going to come celebrate with me, right? Yeah, you and your friend should both come. Sure, that sounds great. So tell me, what kind of work do you do? Oh, it's not very interesting. Hmm, something in finance? Accountants, maybe? No, not even close. Lawyers? Now, that's funny. Think the opposite of that. Oh, right? Like you're gangsters or something? <laughs> No, we work for the city, miss. Oh, gotcha. I guess that would be pretty boring. I mean, unless you're like undercover cops, right? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, gentlemen. I'm afraid their time is up. Well, bye. Ask for me next time you come in. Next week. Don't forget. Not a chance. <laughs> that one in the red dress looked kind of like her. What do you think? Not the same build, I guess. Take away the hair, make up the... I don't know. What are we even doing here, seriously? We're looking for leads, right? Don't worry about it. We'll get a receipt. Are you out of your mind? If the chief finds out... Good evening, gentlemen. Hey, wait! <laughs> Sir. Take your seat. If you're harassing one of our girls, I will call the police. What? what? I'm the police! Now move it! Hold it! Sorry about that. You were looking at the stars? Yes. In the middle of the city? Uh-huh. But you know they're all fake, right? The real stars aren't there anymore. Say, um, have we met somewhere? Miss Haraguchi? That is your name, isn't it? From apartment 202. I'm Lee. We met this morning. Remember your new neighbor? I, uh... Sorry, I have to go. Thanks a lot. Hang on. Just them? Did you see anyone? Talk to anyone else? So where's Louis now? He's somewhere safe. He's gonna keep his head down for a few days. He said, it's time to move the stuff. Where is it? He said that. I don't understand. 
understand. He told me never to talk about that with anyone. Not even with our friends. Take me to see him. I know it's risky, but please. like with these stones here. The design seems simple, but each piece has to be carefully placed. One careless mistake and it's ruined. It's a useful lesson, though truth is I have no idea why I do this. The significance of it... I stopped trying to find the meaning a long time ago. It's the price I pay for my contract. There. Louis dead. That's a lie. Not this time. Louis is dead. Someone killed him. Unfortunate, really. As far as contractors go, Louis was one of the best. Seems he met someone better. Wait, you're saying Louis was a contractor? I see. So he decided to keep that from you, too. Who is that man in the alley? <laughs> I don't particularly enjoy being clubbed in the back of the head, but he learned that the hard way, didn't he? I got the sense you two knew each other. What? No, no. I just met him today. Unlucky for him. In any case, time's short. You'll understand if I make this quick. <laughs> now, why would you run? That hurts me, Chiaki. I thought we were friends. Contractors have feelings, too. We're not human, but that doesn't mean we're entirely without personality. We're not dolls. What is it? We're being watched. What? No way, that's impossible. Not for a doll. A specter, only a contractor would see it. I don't get it. Those locks were state-of-the-art. They shouldn't just short out like that. You're right. Hard to imagine it was a coincidence. Whenever you see a falling star, it means one of them has died. Just now, out there in the world somewhere, a contractor took his last breath. 
it's their sky now. Ever since that day ten years ago when the real stars disappeared. They became the new stars. Cold-blooded contractors with special abilities. Soulless dolls. Most people, they have no idea the truth. Their governments don't want them to know. They use gate-based technology called ME to erase the memories of anyone who comes into contact with them. Of course, behind the scenes, these same governments are all too quick to exploit them for their abilities. Sounds like you know a lot about them. I worked at the National Laboratories for a long time. I may have read a few files I wasn't supposed to along the way. But even before that, you could say I had something of a personal interest. See, my mom and dad died when I was pretty young. I was still in high school, sophomore, I think. The police said it was an accident, but that was a lie. I saw it. A contractor murdering my parents. My eyes were open that day. I've been fascinated ever since. Astronomics confirmed the activity of another suspected French agent at about the same time you say you lost her. Codename Jean. Our files list his ability as matter exchange teleportation. The surveillance specters pinpointed the scene of the latest activity, but beyond that, no leads as to where he might be now. Sorry about this, Chief. We had her. I don't know. Maybe if we reacted faster. <laughs> what you do on your own time is your business, but don't let your guard down. They tell me BK-201 is also showing signs of activity. Watch yourselves. Right. right. It's all your fault. Mine? How you figure? I guess someone already beat us here. You should grab what you can and get changed. I think it's safe, but if anything happens, I'm right next door. It doesn't feel real. But it is, isn't it? Louis was a contractor. And he's dead. Wait! Don't go, please! Leave the lights off. It's so strange. It's like I'm home but not at the same time. Your apartment's an exact copy of mine, just in reverse. It's like a reflection. You know, I've only been living here for two weeks now. But already it's hard to imagine that I ever lived anywhere else. It's like for the first time I felt alive. I mean, here I am, me, working in a place called Club Pinky. And I can honestly say I've never been happier. When I think about the person I was obsessing over my work night and day in the lab and the person I am now, every day I wait here, it's harder to tell which is the real me. I figured none of that would matter, though. Soon Louis was going to come and take me away. I get to start over. But he's not coming back, is he? Do you know what you're going to do now? <laughs> Haven't you been listening? Louis was the one with the answers, not me. We'll figure something out. We could run away together. But you... No, that's crazy, right? You just moved in here today. I know, but somehow it feels like this is what was supposed to happen. I think it was fate that we met today. I mean, if you believe in that sort of thing. Listen to what you're saying. What you need to do is forget today ever happened and forget about me. They've seen my face, right? They'll come looking for me eventually. we're on the right track. Come on, let's get to it. Maybe they left something behind. Yeah, sure, I wouldn't get my hopes up. <laughs> Just a cat, huh?
So there's this guy I know. He runs this little import business in Macau. He's got a lot of backroom connections, that sort of thing. I think he can set us up with passports. Passports? You're talking about smuggling ourselves out of the country. How do you know about all this? I thought you were just a student. <laughs> Actually, it's a little more complicated than that. It always is, isn't it? I guess I shouldn't be surprised at this point. But listen, to do this, we're going to need a lot of money. Money, huh? I might have a problem there. I've just got what's in my purse, that's it. Then maybe there's something else, like something we could trade. How about information? What do you mean? I mean, what if I said I could get my hands on a stash of Pandora files? High-level stuff, top secret. Can you? That might be enough. I hear people will pay a good price for any information about the gate, even if it's trivial. Yeah, but I'm talking the most radical theories since, say, compressed gravity repulsion units or ME technology. Then that sounds perfect. If anything, it's more than enough. He might just get out of this yet, Miss Haraguchi. I guess it's about time I told you. That's not actually my name. It's Chiaki, Chiaki Shinoda. Chiaki, huh? Nice. Very pretty. I'm glad I finally earned your trust. Are there any other secrets you need to spring on me? Oh, sorry I didn't tell you earlier. <laughs> no, no more secrets. Here you go. Sorry for the wait. I think that's all of it. If you need anything else, let me know. Thanks. Enjoy. Uh, I know I said you could order whatever you wanted, but how the hell are you going to eat all of this? Did I overdo it? Sorry, this is actually less than I usually get. You're going to get so fat. F-A-T. Sure, maybe you can get away with it now, but by the time you're 30 and your metabolism slows down, I mean, if there's any justice in the world. Now that I think about it, running for your life does tend to burn the calories. <laughs> Everything all right over there? I'm fine, just a little worn out. I'll be right back, okay? You go ahead and eat. I gotta hand it to you. They said you were supposed to be good, but this is something else. What is? You make it look so easy, all of you guys. It's like you were made for this kind of work. Of course, it helps you don't have that pesky conscience getting in the way. You got a line on the stuff, right? So hurry up and get it. They'll be on you before you know it. I suggest you take care of the girl before there's a problem. us here. Yeah, it's him. He's our rat.
The transmission's been cut. What's he doing? Think he'd try to pull one over on us? Not likely. I doubt he'd stand to gain anything. He's a contractor. It's his nature to do what's in his best interest. He's got a strange way of going about it. He should kill the damn girl and get out of there already. I mean, what the hell's he waiting for? It is odd, I'll give you that. Where is he now? I don't know. What? He's in a place with no water. Uh, should I stop? No. I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. It doesn't matter what we do, does it? They won't let us escape. Listen, you're tired. I mean it. You're pale as a ghost. You should try and get some sleep. I am tired. I'm tired of running. I'm tired of being afraid. It's always the same thing over and over. Just when I start to feel safe, that's when they show up again. Maybe it's something about me. Maybe I draw them to me somehow. I don't know why they come. All I do know is I want this to end. No contractors or dolls. I just want to feel what it's like to walk down a street again without looking over my shoulder. But I brought this on myself. I realize that now. Back then, the day my parents died, for some reason I didn't tell anyone what I saw. That first contractor was just a kid, a little girl, I think. I never even got a good look at her face. It was just that glow, the synchrotron radiation, cold and soft like starlight. No matter how much I wanted to, I couldn't look away. It still doesn't seem real sometimes. I have to remind myself that it wasn't all a dream, you know? It's not too late. You can still have those memories erased. Start over. It's not that easy. They've been with me for so long. As awful as they are, my memories have made me who I am. If I erase them now, I erase myself. So what if you were me? Could you erase your memories if you thought you might lose yourself in the process? Contractors are not humans, Chiaki. They're monsters, killing machines in human skin. I know that. All they care about is self-preservation, and they won't hesitate to kill anyone they see as a threat. They're liars, betrayers. The less you know, the better.
We've been looking for you. You're the contractor who killed Louis, aren't you? Was it really you? Are you the one who killed him? That's right. You lied. I told you. Contractors are liars. I'm no different. And now the rat falls into our trap. <laughs> This lovely thing isn't actually Chiaki Shinoda. We used M.E. to implant a doll with Chiaki's memories. There's no way you'd guess she was a copy. She didn't even know herself. Now that I've used the key phrase to revert her programming, the Chiaki you knew is gone forever. No real loss. The memory implants would have only lasted another day or two anyway. Besides, she served her purpose. She drew you out and handed you right to us. I can't believe Louis got himself killed by this guy. I really thought he would have put up more of a fight. He will. And when he does, you might want to keep in mind, he doesn't wear that coat as a fashion statement. <laughs> it's bulletproof. for a decoy and walked right into an ambush. Meanwhile, the real items already been acquired by another team. In other words, the Syndicate saw this one coming. You get me? You should have just killed that damn puppet like I told you to. Don't call her that. She wasn't a puppet. She sure as hell wasn't a person. An empty shell, nothing more. That's what dolls are, just like all you contractors are nothing but cold-blooded killers. That's enough, Wong. Let's focus on finishing the job. Yin, have you located him yet? Yes, he's not far. to bother you, sir. We were hoping you could help us. We've been talking to the tenants in your building about the woman who is living next door, Ayame Haraguchi. We were wondering if you've ever noticed anything unusual about her, anything at all. I never met her. I only just moved in a few days ago. I'm sorry. So you're new here. In that case, would you mind if I asked to see some identification? Just a formality. Sure. All right, sir. Thank you for your time. I'll leave you my card. If you happen to remember anything, or if you hear anything that might be of interest to us, you can call that number day or night. What is it? Is there something wrong, Chief? No. No, it's nothing. Come on, let's go. Right. Was there an accident? 
told you. I, I don't know what happened. I don't know. We've lost the feed on your in-suit monitors. Can you give us a fix on your position? Uh, I'm heading for the Fukukao approach point. I'm now crossing Kiyosubashi Bridge. We're sending a retrieval team now. Stay where you are. No, no, don't. Don't come in here. Oh. Humans don't belong in this place. We never should have come here. Say again, Tahara. You're breaking up. What happened? Tahara, come in. Good morning. Strange guy. Hi. Good morning. Yeah. Morning. Ali! Good boy. Waiting to put your trash out till the morning. I keep telling everyone not to let it sit out all night, but do they listen? Is that your cat? No, just some stray I caught hanging around lately. He's a bad one. Been getting into the garbage every night and making a mess. Oh. Yeah, that is bad, isn't it? Tubby little guy. I'm guessing someone around here has been feeding him. It's not you, is it? You know we have a no-pets policy. I know. Off to school? No, I've got a job. Really? You're not one of them damn telemarketers, are you? No, of course not. So, um, what are you going to do with the cat? I'm not sure yet. But I've heard there are places that carve this little booger up and make him into a stew. That'd teach him a lesson, wouldn't it? It's not something I'd want to try myself, but who knows? It might taste good. <laughs> I'll see you later. All right. Bye now. Pack of lights. One forty, please. timing. Yeah? Here, I need you to deliver this before you start your shift. Where to? The building outside the main office, where the consultant works, Tahara. Consultant? A consultant for what? <sighs> That's a good question. Guy just stays holed up in his shed. As far as I know, he doesn't even go home at night. No clue what he actually does, but the story is he used to be some big-time scientist. They say he ended up here after he got busted doing some kind of shady research overseas. Oh, yeah. Remember the first research team that went into Hell's Gate? I heard he was the only one to make it out of there alive. He's been inside the gate? That's what they say. They say it sucked his soul right out of him. <laughs>
Of course, those are all just stories. I doubt a single one of them's true. Excuse me, I have a delivery for you. Uh, Mr. Tahara? It's open. The, uh, the factory manager wanted me to give this to you. Sorry about that. Hmm. Aren't you paid by the hour? Oh, uh, yeah. If you're done here, get back to work. Yes, sir. Here you are, room 802. Thank you. I don't get it. The company's going bankrupt and you need this man's research to bail you out, right? So what are we waiting for? We should just go take it. That is why you brought me along, isn't it? It's called doing business. We make him an offer first and see what happens. I'm just saying, it'd be quicker my way. You know what? Every time you open your mouth, it makes me sick to my stomach. But the company wants things done a certain way. They say I need a contractor, so I've got no choice but to sit here breathing your filthy, contaminated air. It's business. What's that? No comeback? Nothing to say? Good. Then at least we've established you know your place. You're a contractor, the scum of the earth. One word for me, and this company kicks you back to whatever gutter you crawled out of. You remember that next time you want to give me your opinion. Where the hell is a damn opener? Allow me. I suppose I've got to do something to earn my key. If he says no, then we move on to the next step. And we don't let up until he says yes. Whatever it takes. Because that's the way I do business. License. Uh, Do you have a driver's license? Can you drive a car? Yeah. Might taste good. That was cold even for you. Just a heads up. Huang says the Meyer and Hilton people checked into their hotel 30 minutes ago. Anything on Tahara yet? Why is that man here? Tell him to go away. I understand you're upset, Mai, and I know how hard it must be on you, having lost your mother so recently. But I assume you've gone back to living with your father now, is that right? And as a parent, he has a right to how be... How can you call him a parent? He doesn't care about me. He only comes home one night a month. Now look here, young lady. You should consider yourself fortunate that your father is the one we contacted rather than the police. Why would you call anybody? I told you I didn't start that fire. No? So the man who claims he caught you burning garbage in an alley is lying to us, is that it? No, listen, when I got there, the fire just started burning all by itself. It's the truth. Why won't anyone believe me? I think it's time I took my daughter home. Now, we're leaving. Uh. But, just a moment, sir. We still have several matters to discuss. Sir, please. Are you telling the truth? The fire started spontaneously as you were walking by. Has that ever happened before? Have you experienced anything else unusual lately? What, you mean more unusual than you actually talking to me? Be serious. I mean things like odd behavior, lost time. So what if I have? What difference does it make? You can't just show up and start pretending like you care. <laughs> Don't touch me! You have your own 
driver? That's big time. What are you guys up to? Oh, you know, just hanging out. Uh, that's not safe. Is this okay? Yeah, sure, no problem. Come on. All right. Should I get her? You mind your own business. Just take us back to the factory. <laughs> Okay, Mai? Seems like you've really been zoning out a lot lately. Yeah, I'm just a little out of it. Sorry. It's hard without your mom, huh? I can't imagine. It must get so lonely. Yeah. But you still got your dad, don't you? It's complicated. What do you mean? You mean because he still works all the time, right? All the time. It's just me in that empty apartment every night. What, your dad doesn't ever come home? Why not? Who knows? That's it. You're coming to my house for dinner tonight, and that's final. <laughs> my brother and sister are gonna be there, too. But they're all right, as long as you don't mind a little noise. I think you'll have fun. Dinner's always better with a lot of people around. And I know my mom and dad will be thrilled to have you. Hold on. How about me? Only if you promise not to clean out our whole refrigerator this time. <sighs> When did I do that? <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna pass. For real? Well, I'm sort of in trouble, so my dad's probably waiting to give me a lecture. He's coming home? Sure, maybe. He's pretty mad. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> I gotcha. We'll do it some other time, then. Yeah. Um, thanks. For the last time, I'm not coming back to work for you. I want nothing to do with you people. So that's how it is. I can see I'll have to find some way to be more persuasive. I'll give you one last chance. Go to hell! up for us? Oh, uh, sure. Hmm. What are you doing wandering around at this hour, young lady? It's after curfew. Are you here with your mother or father? What do you care? It's none of your business. Now listen. There you are. My sister. following me what he sent you didn't he he told you to spy on me well you can tell him this stay away tell him to leave me alone i don't ever want to see him i don't care if he comes home tell him i hate him you got that So do you feel better now? Come on, it's late. Why don't you let me walk you back home? I don't want to go home. There's nothing there. Just a dark, empty apartment. I can't go back. 
All right. And I guess we'll just have to hang out till morning. Creepy at night. Here, tell you what, just close your eyes for a sec, okay? <laughs> How's this? <laughs> explains the way you dress. <laughs> That's okay. I mean, I haven't always lived here either, you know. We actually lived in Africa for a while, if you can believe that. Here. I'll show you something. But you gotta keep it a secret, okay, Lee? Look close. See it? You used to be able to see it a lot better. It was really bright when I was a kid. I guess it's getting pretty dim now. There are some days I can't even see it at all. But neat, huh? Back when I was younger, my dad used to say it was my good luck charm. He said it would always keep me safe. How do you know it's not something bad? Is your father a doctor? Mm -mm. So what kind of work does he do? Research. Like he's a scientist? That's interesting. What kind of things does he study? I don't know. So why'd you come to the city, Lee? I'm here for school. Hmm. Any family? No, none. You're all alone. Just like me. I think it's about time for the first train. They're moving. But they're not alone. You know what this feels like? It's like you're my brother. Turn right to the next town. Why? Just go! Uh. Uh. Chief, a new star. 